Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today. I learned 3D Math Series, episode 41. Today we're going to be looking at converting quaternions to Euler angles. This is the last conversion episode. We're going to be getting into some programming again uh, shortly to explain all the things we've been doing lately. So rather than driving Euler angles, angles from the last episode, uh, quaternion, we're going to solve via episode 37's conversion from a matrix to Euler angles and 38 uh, uh, from uh, a quaternion to a matrix. So quat to matrix, matrix to Euler. So as you can see here, we have our PHB, um, pitch heading bank as per usual, and the formulas that we were given on the previous episodes, we have the uh, sign of the M23, that's the matrix position, negative, and then depending on whether or not we're in a gimbal lock, we will have one of two different ones here. Uh, if you're in the gimbal lock, we would have zero otherwise. So you can see uh, we need several of the matrix elements in order to compute this. So we can go ahead and look at those. These are all, this is all information supplied in previous episodes if you're wondering where this information comes from. So Check, be sure to check out all of the conversion episodes, uh, but this is specifically episode 37 and 38. So we have each of these, and all we're going to do is substitute that right in. And um, uh, as we're substituting, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, reduce it down too. So this is reduced down as much as it would be for our sake. So that's for the uh, substituting it in 23 into the P formula. Substituting into the heading formula, we'd have these two different ones, and they're going to end up being uh, these two equations down here. Finally, the last two on into two, reduce down this, this formula here. So that's really it. Um, it's basically using each of these final formulas and uh, calculating what the pitch, heading, and bank need to be to be the Euler angles given the W, Y, X, and Z values. Super, super simple. Um, if you, that didn't make sense to you, we'll explain it more so in code in a later episode. And uh, But that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and share a like. Throw it on programmingtil.com and sign up for a newsletter. And have a great one. Thank you.